Assalamu alaikum and good morning class 7 today we are starting unit number 5 reproduction in plants from your science book Oxford secondary science 2 today we will read page number 40 and 41 and we will do question number 1 and 2 and you have to learn first 6 basic facts which are on page number 42 okay It's a graph. You can see there are three colored bars. Series 1 is a type of plant. Series 2 is the second type of plant. Series 3 is the third type of plant. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you about it later but let me tell you about reproduction. Reproduction of new organism. What is reproduction? The production of new organism. Nothing lives forever life continues how can it be continuous continuous if the living things produce but on the other hand if the living things did not reproduce themselves then there would be none of them and eventually that living thing will be finished from earth and it will be called extinct from this fact uh, from this graph bar graph you can see that in season one uh, green plant, blue plant and brown plant series are present. In category 2, season 2, they are also present because they these all three types were producing. In season 3, they are also producing they, because they were reproduct during the reproduction. But what happened? Due to overgrazing and due to some pollution, plant of series one green color and plant of brown one uh, brown color could not reproduce and after many years when they couldn't produce reproduce they became extinct okay now we have done, we have uh, studied that plants are produced by many processes one type is called sexual reproduction and the other is called asexual reproduction. Right now at page number 40 we will study sexual reproduction. Why sexual reproduction? Because it is in it is engaging the male parts, stamens and the female parts. Ovary couples. Okay. So in flowering plants, what happens? From seed, a new plant grows. That plant produces male and female gametes. After the combination of both these gametes, like this pollen grain, when it combines with the egg in the ovules, it forms embryo and this is called sexual reproduction in plants. Now we will study parts of a flower which are sepals, petals, couples. Here is sepal, SSS. <coughs> sepals sound the petals of a flower. Flower tend to have many sepals at their base. As a group, they are referred as calyx. These are often brightly colored and scented. They may have nectar at their base. They are also called corolla. Stamens are the male reproductive organ in a flower. Can you see these yellow sacs? They, have, they are full of pollen grains. And these yellow sacs are called anthers. And this, this stick like which is called stamen. Okay. They, these are couples, these are called female, female reproductive parts of flower. Now written task is question number one. How many plants do you know that may be in danger of becoming extinct? We have studied about it. That why plant become extinct when it does not reproduce for a long time, then their type finishes. What are they? In, why are they in danger? What is being done to save them? Write an account called endangered plants. 
describing plant species which are in danger of, be of becoming extinct. There are too many endangered plants. This extinct spellings are wrong, so you have to correct them. There are too many pl endangered plants to be st uh, able to list them here. In fact, a, rep uh, a report produced by scientists in 2010 claimed that one fifth of the world's plants are in danger of extinction. The main causes of these extinction of plants are loss of habitat, the clearance of vegetation for farmland, houses, roads, factories, etc., and the use of chemical pesticides and fertilizers on the farmland. Pollution of the air or water is another cause of extinction. Okay. Second question is working from the outside in. List the parts of the flower. Make a sketch of each of the parts. Working from the outside inwards, the four main parts of a flower are sepals, which protected the flower at the bud stage, petals, which are often brightly colored to attract insects, stamens, which are the male reproductive part, and which produce pollen, carpels, which are the female reproductive organs. Parts of a flower, you have to draw this diagram and if you will draw this diagram, that will definitely help you understand as well. These lower parts are called sepal, this is the stalk, receptacle and the pink colored are carpels, uh, sorry, the pink colored are petals, then carpel is here, it is shown, stigma the top of the ovary and then style is the neck shape and the subolin base is called ovary that has many ovules it is all female part now if here we go with the stamen stamen have yellow colored bag like structures that are called anthers that are attached to the uh, flower receptacle through a filament thanks for watching this video Bye. <laughs>